I have a four-year-old Alberta peach tree, and two years ago it had so many peaches, some limbs broke. This past year we didn't have any fruit. This is what the tree looks like now. Do I need to prune it again? This is Judy in Morristown, Tennessee. So, Mr. D, I see you checking that out. So, yep. Uh, yep. does it need to be pruned again? I know the answer yep. to that Judy, one. Yes, yes, sure do. You need to go out there yes. right now and, and open up the center of that tree. Uh huh. And, and and just you said you had so many peaches, mm -hmm. the limbs broke. Right, the limbs so, broke. So, and you said the tree hadn't been pruned lately. Well, yes. Mother Nature, <laughs> Mother Nature did some pruning. Right. The tree's gonna get pruned one way or the other if it has fruit on it. And uh, you do a lot better job you, than uh, Mother Nature. Mother yeah. Nature, she gets kind of rough it's with the tree, right. you know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I would open up the center of that tree and then not only would I do that, even you know, because if you, if you open up the center of the tree and bring it down to about eight or nine feet in height, you know, always, making your cut above a bud that's growing to the outside. That's a good you know, point. And do that in the wintertime. You're, you're controlling the growth. You're encouraging new growth to go in the direction that you want it. Right. If you do that when you're pruning, and then when you have fruit on there, before the pit hardens, that means before they're dime-sized, look at the fruit, and if you can imagine how big you want that fruit to be, and if you've got six <laughs> in six yeah, inches. Right, right. right. That ain't gonna happen, <laughs> you know. So go and right. take out. You, out. you need to take yeah. out. I mean, you when you do a good job of pruning, you're probably taking out 80 percent of the fruit that was gonna be on the tree anyway. Then go in there and take out another 80 percent, and you will have and and follow the spray guide. Follow the spray guide. You know, I was waiting for that. Religiously right. follow yes, the spray guide, yes. and to control the insects and diseases, you will have nice big fruit that won't break the limbs out of the tree. But you know what? I don't think people can envision that though. When you're thinking about pruning, you know, to thin out some of the fruit. You, oh, you don't. And, I, it's yeah, hard because to you're taking, yeah, yeah, because yeah, you're taking so much fruiting wood off. Yeah, you're taking all, all of, if you're taking off eighty percent of the tree. Yeah, they like that's a lot of fruiting wood. Yeah, yeah, that's eighty percent of the fruit. That's, yeah, that's a yeah. lot. And then and then and then thin it out. You will be happier. The tree will be happier. The tree will. If be such Judy, a, you got if, it. If the a tree, tree has feelings, <laughs> yeah. if the tree has feelings, it will be happier. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. To subscribe, click below.